this is a definitely a scam look message. But judging from recent Microsoft activities, maybe it's not. Then I dig a little bit deeper, then I find it's not a scam, it's legit. Basically, what they are doing is forcing you to face out normal username and password authentication method, even if it's encrypted. So I'm using Zunderbird as my email client and I'm using a app password, which is a different, very long password for the Zunderbird client. And according to this email, it will no longer work after this date. What they want to you do is to switch to something called a modern uh, method of authentication. Uh, but they didn't bring the exact name here. Uh, actually, I found it's called OAuth2. Then I will try to walk you through uh, for the setup for the new authentication method for your Zenderberg client. First, log into your Outlook.com and click this uh, your account. Uh, check the security, then advance the security options. Make sure you turn on the two-step verification. And the app password is uh, will be useless. And you also need to install a phone app called the Microsoft Authenticator on your phone. Then you click here, add a new way to sign in or verify. Make sure the Authenticator app is being added to the account. And you click use the using an app, which is the Microsoft Authenticator. On the Zenderbird, you say add a new account, key in your name and uh, your Hotmail or Outlook email address. And key in your password. And click the continue first. After that, you click the config manually. Then you will see the real parameters for connecting the service. For me, I use POP3, not IMAP, because I want my email on my local machine, not on the Microsoft server. And you see the authentication method is not normal. It's called OAuth2. Then you click done, and that's it.